Hello there, it's Mario here. I am in Vienna right now, and uh, don't let the sun fool you. It's actually very, very cold here. My ears are frozen, I'm using gloves, I'm using a scarf. It is very, very cold, at least from what I used to. And um, I'm just walking around the city, just arrived here, and uh, just taking a little walk and listening to an audiobook. And this audiobook actually inspired me to do this video. Is the uh, audiobook is called The Perfect Day Formula, and the author actually presented a really interesting idea at the beginning of the book. I haven't even read the whole thing yet, which I think it's a really cool book. It's a very short one as well so definitely uh, check that out but the idea from the book that I really wanted to uh, kind of let you guys know about is the idea that how having more structure how having more rules often leads to having more freedom so counterintuitive right how can having more rules and being more rigid give you more freedom and it's an interesting example I think the uh, author used an example of an entrepreneur and like a CEO or just someone who is really on top of what they're doing is they have such a good structure in their day right they know okay I'm gonna wake up at this time I'm gonna go to bed at this time and I'm gonna get this and this done and I'm gonna let's say finish all the work at that exact time of the day so they know approximately they're gonna be done at let's say 4 or 5 p.m. and they're gonna have the evening free to do the things that they enjoy let's say spend time with their family I'm not saying the work is not enjoyable but let's say you want to do more things in your life you want to spend time with your loved ones you want to do hobbies you want to hit the gym you want to uh, get a cool dinner with your buddies you know you want to do cool stuff right and by having such control over their day that CEO that entrepreneur that that guy who's into personal development who's organizing his day he's gonna have a lot more freedom compared to the guy who's just doing that Oh, I'm just gonna wing it you know I'm just gonna wake up in the morning and I'm just gonna let the day decide what I'm gonna do that Time. like I'm just gonna let people other people email social media uh, my boss what, what, whatever other people throw at me I'm not gonna organize those things I'm just gonna try to get everything done and I'm just gonna stay up late at night I'm gonna watch TV that's gonna make me less focused the next day I'm gonna have to wake up earlier and because you're less focused you get less done and at the end of the day you have no free time to do the things that you enjoy literally by having more freedom quote-unquote now you have less free time versus the guy who had more structure, who had rules in place to keep him on track, actually has more time. And it's interesting how this works. And one funny example is kind of the way I like to think about it, the way I, uh, when I talk to my clients, is how some kind of identity-based rule or kind of your personal philosophy or whatever you want to call it, can almost guarantee that you're successful in very, very hard situations. Let me give you an example. So someone invites you over for dinner, right? And they're like preparing this extremely fried food and a lot of meat and a lot of stuff like that. And you're thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna have to overeat on calories. You know, there's no way I'm gonna be able to stick to my macros. You know, it's gonna destroy my diet for the whole week. And it's really hard to say no because that might be a really good friend, right? But in the same scenario, let's say you were a vegan or you bring your vegan buddy yeah, like, no, dude, I'm not going to eat that, right? I'm not going to eat that. It's not who I am. He has a personal philosophy, personal rule. I mean, if he's a, like a strict vegan who's actually following the lifestyle, and I'm saying that's the ultimate lifestyle, but I'm just using that as an example how a personal philosophy, a personal rule, an identity rule can be so powerful that it's not even a matter of choice in the moment. The choice and the decision has already been made. And just by having that structure in that rule in place that person doesn't even spend any willpower any decision fatigue and any kind of self-control kind of exhaustion that you might get from just having that restraint no I mean it's just already made you know the decision has been made I am the type of person that doesn't do that and it's a very very interesting way how that works and I'm thinking as well I mean as an entrepreneur someone who is uh, running a coaching business and doing all these things and a lot of people that I meet I find that very very successful people are the ones that are extremely uh, routine based so they love their routines and I love my routines and I cannot uh, imagine a day without a routine I have my set of things that I do and kind of in the same order and that's kind of how I stay the most productive and I would invite you as well to really commit to designing your own routine designing your own day to make sure that you are able to have that structure, those rules in place to make sure that you're getting the things that you want to get done. Things like, hey, I'm not going to watch movies at like 11 p.m. I'm not going to start watching movies at 11 p.m. Things like, oh, I'm not going to eat this uh, crappy food at like past 8 p.m. or I'm not going to eat crappy food at all for a, for a week or a month or let's say for the next 90 days and things like that. Have certain rules and see how that works for you because what I'm imagining is that for a lot of people, for the majority of people out there, uh, we are 
so used to roles and we don't even see them anymore as roles. Like you don't see stopping at a red light as something that is like robbing you of your freedom. No, it's actually helping you to uh, properly drive. And similarly in your life, when you have a certain set of rules, such as I'm gonna be on point with my macros, my calories and all from whole healthy foods, and maybe I'm gonna have some uh, three, four different types of meals throughout the week that might not be the healthiest meals, that might give you that awesome structure where you're gonna get awesome results, plus you're gonna be able to enjoy things. And there, there's countless examples of this, but I just see the importance of having that routine that eliminates guesswork. You're not guessing. And that's what I see with a lot of people who are extremely successful. They're not guessing. They don't uh, spend their days thinking, oh, what am I going to do? No, it's already decided. And when it's already decided, it's so easy to follow through because it's kind of like a, it's already kind of a beaten path here. So you just have to kind of follow the path and just take action on it. So that's something I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you resonate with this a little bit. Really enjoying uh, Vienna. I've been here for... I think a couple of times already. Uh, I've never been here during uh, winter, so it's really interesting. I was hoping for some snow. Uh, there wasn't any snow. Um, yeah, good place, good place. Definitely check it out. Um, some cool buildings here. I'm gonna show you guys around. Um, yeah, this looks very, very pretty. Uh, this is one, probably one of the prettiest places in Europe for sure. At least my personal, uh, one of my personal favorite cities. Uh, definitely to check out. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you have your own routine? Do you have kind of a setup, let's say that you personally like to follow? Maybe it's intermittent fasting where you have the meal at a certain time of the day. Maybe it's the workout. What is your routine? What do you like to follow? What helps you stick to your path, to your goal, and it helps you get things done? So let, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.